Today we delve into Australia's most harrowing shark attack, a day where tranquility met the ocean's raw fury. This isn't just a tale of terror, but a voyage through human endurance and the unexpected insights gained. Distinguishing this event are its unique circumstances and the individuals who faced this apex predator. Their stories, interwoven with the wildness of nature and human tenacity, are eye-opening. This episode promises a compelling journey into the depths of an extraordinary maritime ordeal. Unveil the truth behind the sensationalism in our in-depth exploration of this gripping Australian saga. In the sunny town of New Smyrna Beach, Florida, where the sand sparkles like tiny jewels under the vast blue sky, a day at the beach was about to turn into an unforgettable adventure for Emma Thompson. The year was 2001, and the beach, known for its gentle waves and friendly locals, was bustling with families and friends soaking up the sun's warmth. Emma, a kind-hearted beachgoer who loves the ocean, decided to dip in the shallow waters to cool off from the heat. With her short, light brown hair tied back and her blue swimsuit hugging her closely, she waded into the clear, refreshing water, laughing and splashing around without a care. New Smyrna Beach, celebrated for its beauty, also held secrets beneath its waves. It was a habitat for marine life, including the majestic yet misunderstood tiger shark. Unknown to many, these creatures wandered into shallower waters, drawn by curiosity and searching for food. As Emma swam, enjoying the soothing embrace of the ocean, an unexpected shadow approached. A tiger shark, intrigued by the splashing, ventured closer to the shore than usual. In a swift moment, the shark mistook Emma for prey, resulting in a quick but terrifying encounter. Emma felt a sharp tug at her leg, and she knew immediately she was not alone. Fighting the panic that surged through her, Emma remembered the advice she had heard about staying calm during a shark encounter. She resisted the urge to thrash wildly, knowing it could provoke the shark further. With a surge of courage, she gently pushed the shark away, and to her relief it swam off into the deeper waters, leaving her in a state of shock but alive. Emma hurried back to the shore, her leg bearing marks of the encounter, a few scratches and a bite that, while scary, was not life-threatening. The beachgoers rushed to her aid, wrapping her in towels and offering comfort. The local lifeguards responded quickly, providing first aid and ensuring she was not in grave danger. This incident, while minor, sparked a wave of concern throughout the new Smyrna Beach community. Emma's story spread quickly, raising questions and fears about the safety of swimming in these waters. They are known for their beauty, but are now reminded of their hidden risks. Once buzzing with the carefree joy of beach activities, the community found itself at the heart of a meaningful conversation. Talks about shark safety measures, awareness programs, and the coexistence with the ocean's creatures became the forefront of discussions. The local news covered Emma's story, urging the community to educate themselves on staying safe while enjoying their beloved beach's natural wonders. Though shaken by the experience, Emma was at the center of this newfound awareness. Her encounter with the tiger shark, a moment of fear and bravery, catalyzed change. The people of New Smyrna Beach began to look at the ocean with a new respect, understanding the importance of harmony with the marine life that called it home. As the sun set on New Smyrna Beach, casting a golden glow over the sand and sea, the community knew this was a turning point. It was a reminder of the delicate balance between enjoying nature's beauty and respecting the creatures that dwell within it. Emma's ordeal was not just a story of survival, but a lesson in coexistence marking the beginning of a new chapter for New Smyrna Beach and its residents. Following Emma Thompson's close encounter with a tiger shark at New Smyrna Beach, Florida, the community's initial shock and fear gradually transformed into a collective call to action. Residents previously unaware of the intricacies of shark behavior and the statistical rarity of shark attacks began to educate themselves and each other. 2001 became a pivotal moment for the town marking a shift towards increased safety and understanding of the marine environment. Inspired by the community's eagerness to learn and adapt, local authorities initiated educational programs focused on marine life, especially sharks. These programs were designed to demystify the creatures of the deep, explaining their importance in the ocean's ecosystem and the real risks they pose to humans. Workshops and seminars were held, where experts shared tips on how to stay safe while swimming, such as avoiding swimming at dawn or dusk, keeping close to shore, 
and staying in groups. Emma, her spirit undiminished by the incident, became an advocate for ocean safety and conservation. Now known by everyone in the town, her story was a powerful reminder of the respect the ocean demands. She worked alongside local wildlife conservationists to help spread awareness, emphasizing that the ocean was home to many and that humans were merely visitors. The local schools incorporated ocean safety into their curriculum, teaching children from a young age about the wonders and dangers of the sea. Emma often visited these schools, sharing her experience and the lessons she learned, turning her ordeal into a positive force for education and change. As summer approached, the beaches of New Smyrna Beach saw the implementation of new safety measures. Lifeguards were provided with additional training on how to handle potential shark encounters. They were equipped with drones to monitor the waters for any unusual activity. Signage was erected along the beach, offering guidance on shark safety and reminding beachgoers of the simple steps to reduce the risk of an encounter. The community's efforts were met with positive results. The following summer passed without incident, and the beach again became a bustling hub of joy and laughter. Families returned to the sand and sea, now armed with knowledge and a more profound respect for the marine life that shared their beloved beach. Emma's courage and the community's response became a model for other coastal towns facing similar challenges. New Smyrna Beach was praised for its proactive stance on coexistence with nature, setting an example for how communities can adapt to live safely alongside the natural world. Years later, Emma still walks the beach, her gaze often drifting to the horizon where the ocean meets the sky. The incident with the tiger shark, while a terrifying moment in her life, had given her a purpose. She had helped foster a community that valued safety, education, and respect for all life forms. The tiger shark, once a symbol of fear, had become a symbol of unity and strength for the people of New Smyrna Beach. They had learned to live harmoniously with the ocean, embracing its mysteries with caution and respect. Emma's tale of survival and transformation remained a testament to the power of community and the enduring bond between humans and the natural world. In the heart of the vast blue ocean, far from the bustling world above, lies a place known as the Shark Corridor, near Cocos Island, Costa Rica. This remote spot, hidden away from the busy life of cities, is famous for its deep, clear waters and the mysteries that dwell beneath. In 2003, a brave deep-sea diver named Max Johnson decided to explore one of these mysteries, a shipwreck that had long rested in the depths, holding past stories. Max was well prepared for his journey, with his heart full of adventure and his mind curious about the ocean's secrets. He had heard tales of the shipwreck, an old vessel that sank many years ago, now home to various marine life. Max was unaware of the danger lurking in these waters, the oceanic white-tip sharks, known for their curiosity and boldness. As Max descended into the incredible embracing depths, his eyes were filled with wonder. The shipwreck lay before him like a ghost from another time, its structure covered in colorful corals and surrounded by schools of fish dancing in the water. He moved carefully around the wreck, his flashlight piercing the darkness, revealing hidden treasures and forgotten stories. But as Max explored, he felt a sudden shift in the water. A shadow passed over him, large and ominous. Turning slowly, he faced not just one, but a pack of oceanic white-tip sharks. Their sleek bodies circled him, their eyes watching, curious about this intruder in their domain. Max's heart raced. He knew that these waters were home to many sharks, but encountering a pack of oceanic white tips was something he had not anticipated. He remembered the advice he had been given, stay calm, avoid sudden movements, and maintain eye contact with the sharks. Max did his best to follow this advice, keeping his breathing steady as he watched the sharks circle closer. The sharks, intrigued by Max's presence, continued their dance around him. Max, though afraid, was also in awe of these majestic creatures. They moved gracefully, their powerful bodies slicing through the water effortlessly. He knew he must respect these animals, understanding that he was a visitor in their world. Max's fear began to mix with a sense of respect and fascination as the minutes passed. He realized that this encounter, while dangerous, was also a rare opportunity to witness these creatures in their natural habitat. Sensing that Max was not a threat, the oceanic white tips eventually lost interest. 
They started to drift away one by one back into the blue depths of their ocean home. Max took a deep breath, relieved that the situation had not escalated. He knew he had been lucky. The encounter with the oceanic white tip sharks would stay with him forever, a vivid reminder of the power and mystery of the ocean. Max felt a profound connection to the ocean as he returned to the surface, the shipwreck and the sharks left behind in the deep. He had come seeking adventure and had found so much more, a respect for the delicate balance of life beneath the waves and a story that he would share to remind others of the beauty and dangers that coexist in the deep blue sea. Emerging from the depths, Max felt a mixture of relief and exhilaration. The sunlight welcomed him back, its rays piercing the water's surface, creating a mosaic of light around him. As he boarded the boat, the experience with the oceanic white-tipped sharks lingered in his mind, a stark reminder of the ocean's unpredictability and the respected commands. Max knew his story was about survival, understanding, and respecting the natural world. The encounter with the sharks underscored the importance of being prepared and respecting the creatures of the sea. It was a cautionary tale that he was eager to share, hoping to inspire both caution and awe for the ocean's inhabitants. Back on Cocos Island, Max shared his tale with fellow divers and the local community. His story spread, becoming a topic of discussion among those who ventured into the ocean's depths. It served as a reminder of the wonders and dangers beneath the surface urging divers always to be mindful of their surroundings and the creatures they share the waters with. The encounter at the Shark Corridor became more than just a personal experience for Max. It was a lesson in coexistence with the ocean's creatures. It reminded everyone that while the sea offers beauty and adventure, it also demands respect and awareness. As the sun set over Cocos Island, Max looked out at the ocean, its vastness holding endless stories yet to be discovered. He will never forget his adventure with the oceanic white-tip sharks. This profound encounter deepened his connection to the marine world and its magnificent, mysterious inhabitants. In the serene waters surrounding the Fiji Islands, nestled in the vast expanse of the South Pacific, Olivia Harper dedicated her life to unraveling the ocean's mysteries. As a marine researcher, she spent her days in the open water surrounded by the vibrant life that thrived beneath the waves. The year was 2005, and Olivia's latest project focused on the behavior of marine life in these pristine waters, a task that brought her face to face with the ocean's most magnificent creatures. On a bright sunny morning, Olivia set out on her boat, equipped with her research tools and a heart full of curiosity. The clear blue waters of Fiji offered visibility for miles, a perfect condition for her studies. Diving into the ocean, she was greeted by a ballet of colorful fish and corals, a spectacle that never ceased to amaze her. As Olivia ventured further, recording her observations, she noticed a shadow looming in the distance. Initially, she assumed it was one of the many harmless creatures she had become accustomed to during her dives. However, as the shadow drew closer, Olivia realized it was a bull shark, a species known for its unpredictable nature. The shark, perhaps curious or feeling threatened by Olivia's presence in its territory, began to circle her. Olivia's heart raced. She knew the importance of staying calm. Understanding panic could provoke the shark further. She kept her movements slow and deliberate, trying to signal that she was not a threat. Despite her efforts, the bull shark made a swift, exploratory bite, its teeth grazing Olivia's arm. The minor injury was enough to jolt her into action. Remembering her training, Olivia knew she had to act quickly to deter the shark and make her escape. The moment was critical, and her response in the next few seconds would determine her fate. Olivia reached for her dive knife, a standard piece of gear she hoped she would never have to use this way. With the shark preparing for another pass, Olivia positioned herself defensively, ready to use the knife to push the shark away if it came too close gently. Her heart pounded in her chest, a mix of fear and adrenaline fueling her survival instinct. The bull shark, perhaps deterred by Olivia's defensive stance or simply losing interest, began to circle wider, its black eyes watching her cautiously. Olivia focused on the shark, her mind racing to escape this predicament. The standoff seemed to last an eternity, but only a few moments before the shark slowly began to retreat into the depths, leaving Olivia alone in the vast ocean. With the shark gone, Olivia quickly returned to the surface, her arm throbbing from the injury but her spirit undeterred. 
As she broke through the water's surface, gasping for air, she knew that her quick thinking and understanding of shark behavior had saved her. The boat was in sight, a beacon of safety in the open water. Olivia swam towards it, her mind replaying the encounter over and over. Though terrifying, this experience gave her a new perspective on the creatures she had dedicated her life to studying. Olivia's respect for the ocean and its inhabitants deepened, a reminder of the delicate balance between human and marine life. As Olivia clambered back onto her boat, nursing her arm, the pain was a sharp reminder of the ocean's unpredictability. The serene beauty of the Fiji Islands with their clear blue waters had always been her research playground, where she pursued her passion for understanding marine life. Today, however, it had presented her with a stark lesson on survival. Alone on the boat, Olivia caught her breath, the adrenaline slowly ebbing away. She assessed her injury. It was minor, but it needed attention. She cleaned the wound with her first aid kit, wrapping it securely. The encounter with the bull shark was a testament to the risks she faced in her work, which she had always acknowledged but never encountered until now. Despite the scare, Olivia's determination remained unshaken. She understood that such encounters were rare and that the bull shark's behavior was more out of curiosity than aggression. While frightening, this experience only fueled her resolve to continue her research and contribute to understanding these misunderstood creatures. The incident, however, made her more cautious. She reviewed her safety protocols, ensuring she would be better prepared for future encounters. Olivia knew the ocean was a dynamic, ever-changing environment full of surprises. It demanded respect, and she was more than willing to give it. In the days following the attack, Olivia focused on healing and reflecting on her experience. She pondered the data and observations she had collected before the encounter, eager to return to her research. Yet she knew she had to wait until she was fully healed and ready to face the ocean's depths again. Olivia's brush with the bull shark did not deter her. Instead, it deepened her appreciation for the ocean and its inhabitants. She became more involved in promoting marine conservation, advocating for the protection of shark habitats and educating others about the importance of sharks in the ocean's ecosystem. Her research took on a new dimension, focusing on marine life behavior and human interactions with these powerful creatures. Eventually, Olivia returned to the water, her spirit undaunted. She continued her work with renewed purpose and a deeper understanding of the balance between human and marine life. With all its mysteries and dangers, the ocean remained her passion, a vast blue world she was privileged to explore. Olivia's encounter with the bull shark became a defining moment in her career, a reminder of the challenges and rewards of working in marine research. It reinforced her belief in the importance of her work and the need for continued education and conservation efforts. As she dove into the waters of the Fiji Islands once more, Olivia felt a profound connection to the ocean, a bond forged through respect, understanding, and a shared sense of survival. With its endless wonders and challenges, the sea called to her and she answered, ready to continue her journey of discovery, armed with knowledge, experience, and an unbreakable will to coexist with the magnificent creatures of the deep. Jeffreys Bay, South Africa, a haven for surfers seeking the embrace of the wild waves, became the stage for an extraordinary tale of bravery and survival in 2010. Nathan Carter, a surfer known for his love of adventure and his pursuit of the perfect wave, found himself in the remote waters of this renowned surfing destination. With his heart set on conquering the sea's untamed forces, Nathan paddled out into the ocean, his eyes sparkling with anticipation. The day was bright, with the sun casting a golden glow over the water, making the waves shimmer like liquid silver. The wind was just right, creating the perfect conditions for surfing. With his board under him, Nathan felt a connection to the sea, a bond forged by years of riding waves in some of the most beautiful and challenging spots around the globe. A sense of peace enveloped him as Nathan waited for the right wave. He was alone but not lonely, surrounded by the ocean's vastness. Then, without warning, the tranquility of the moment was shattered. A dark shadow emerged from the depths, rushing toward him. Nathan's instincts kicked in and he realized he was not alone. A great white shark, one of the ocean's most formidable predators, had entered the scene. The shark, perhaps drawn by the surfer's movement and energy, circled Nathan, its dorsal fin cutting through the water's surface like a knife. Nathan's heart raced, but he knew panic would not help him. 
He had heard stories of surfers encountering sharks, but he never imagined he would find himself in such a situation. With little time to react, Nathan faced the Great White, trying to make himself appear larger and more intimidating. He shouted at the shark, hoping to scare it away, but the predator was undeterred. As the shark made its approach, Nathan prepared for the inevitable. He used his surfboard as a barrier between himself and the Great White, knowing that his survival depended on his subsequent actions. The shark, perhaps assessing Nathan as a potential threat rather than prey, made a swift pass, its teeth grazing the edge of the surfboard. Nathan felt the creature's power, a reminder of the raw force of nature. Using all his strength, he pushed the shark away with his board, creating enough distance to make a quick decision. Realizing that his best chance of escape was to catch a wave back to shore, Nathan paddled with all his might, adrenaline fueling his efforts. As a wave approached, he seized the opportunity, riding it with a skill born of years of experience. The Great White, losing interest or perhaps respecting the surfer's resilience, disappeared into the depths, leaving Nathan to return to safety. Reaching the shore, Nathan's legs trembled, not from the physical exertion, but from realizing what he had just experienced. He had faced one of the ocean's greatest predators and survived. The encounter with the great white shark at Jeffreys Bay would be a story he'd carry with him forever, a testament to his resilience and determination to survive against all odds. As Nathan stood on the sandy shores of Jeffreys Bay, catching his breath and letting the sun dry the salt water on his skin, the weight of the encounter sank in. His brush with the great white shark was more than a tale of survival. It was a life-changing moment that would redefine his relationship with the ocean and his passion for surfing. Despite the fear and the immediate danger he had faced, Nathan's love for the sea and surfing remained unshaken. Instead, the experience deepened his respect for the ocean's creatures and unpredictable nature. He understood that sharing the waves meant respecting the habitat of magnificent beings like the great white shark. Nathan's courage and quick-thinking story spread among the local surf community and beyond. His fellow surfers, who had always known him as a thrill-seeker, now saw him embodying resilience and determination. Nathan became an unintentional mentor, inspiring surfers and anyone who heard his story to face their fears and respect the natural world. In the following days, Nathan returned to the waves, his spirit undeterred by the close call. His encounter with the Great White became a source of inspiration, a reminder of the strength, it will to survive that resides within each person. Nathan's resilience in the face of one of the ocean's greatest predators encouraged those around him to approach life with courage, respect nature's power, and embrace the beauty of living fully, even in danger. Jeffrey's Bay, with its rolling waves and breathtaking sunsets, continued to be a place of adventure and discovery for Nathan and many others. But for Nathan, it was also a place of profound personal growth and a reminder of the day he faced off against a great white shark and lived to tell the tale. His experience underscored the delicate balance between seeking thrills and respecting the forces of nature, a lesson he would carry with him in all his future endeavors, both in and out of the water. Sofia Martinez, a seasoned professional diver with a spirit of adventure, embarked on a journey to explore one of the most mesmerizing underwater locations in the world, the Blue Hole in the Bahamas. Known for its vast and enigmatic depths, the Blue Hole attracted divers from all corners of the globe, eager to unravel its secrets. With her years of diving experience and numerous explorations, Sophia was drawn to the Blue Hole's promise of undiscovered wonders. On a clear and sunny day, with the sun reflecting off the tranquil turquoise waters, Sophia began her descent. Equipped with her diving gear, a reliable flashlight, and a heart full of courage, she plunged into the cool embrace of the ocean. As she dove more profoundly, the sunlight faded, giving way to the serene darkness of the underwater world. The Blue Hole's walls were adorned with a kaleidoscope of marine life, from colorful corals to schools of fish that danced in the water's gentle currents. Sophia was in awe of the beauty that surrounded her. She moved gracefully through the water, her eyes wide with wonder and her mind alert. She aimed to explore one of the Blue Hole's lesser-known caves, a spot she had researched and prepared for meticulously. As she approached the cave's entrance, her excitement grew. She lived for this, 
the thrill of discovery and the unknown challenge. However, an unexpected shadow loomed in the distance as Sophia navigated through the cave's narrow passageways. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized she was not alone. A tiger shark, one of the ocean's most formidable predators, had silently entered the cave, blocking her only way out. Sophia's training had prepared her for many situations, but being trapped in an underwater cave with a tiger shark was a scenario she had never imagined. Panic began, but Sophia knew she had to remain calm. Her survival depended on her ability to think clearly and act decisively. The shark, displaying a curious yet cautious demeanor, circled the entrance of the cave, its eyes fixed on Sophia. She understood that the shark was as much a part of this environment as she was, but she also knew she needed to find a way to escape safely. Sophia assessed her surroundings, looking for anything to help her in this dire situation. The cave was her temporary sanctuary, but it could quickly become her tomb if she didn't act. Her mind raced, trying to devise a plan that would allow her to outsmart the predator and escape back to the open ocean. As she pondered her next move, Sophia's thoughts were clear. She would need all her resourcefulness and courage to navigate this challenge. The peaceful exploration she had embarked on had turned into a test of survival. With the tiger shark patrolling the entrance and the weight of her predicament bearing down on her, Sophia prepared to use every skill and bit of knowledge she had acquired over the years. She was determined to make her escape, relying on her quick thinking and deep respect for the marine world. This was the moment Sophia's actual test began. With the tiger shark circling the underwater cave entrance, Sophia knew her options were limited but clear. Her priority was ensuring her safety without harming the magnificent creature before her. Drawing from her extensive knowledge of marine behavior, Sophia began to formulate a plan to distract the shark and make her escape. She remembered reading about divers using tools and the environment to redirect a shark's attention. Looking around, Sophia spotted a cluster of small rocks and sediment at the bottom of the cave. Moving slowly to avoid startling the shark, she collected a handful of stones, then positioned herself to throw them away from herself and the cave's entrance, hoping the disturbance would pique the shark's curiosity. With a steady hand, Sophia tossed the rocks to the far side of the cave. As hoped, the shark turned its attention towards the source of the disturbance, giving Sophia a narrow window of opportunity. She knew she had to act swiftly. Taking a deep breath, she used the moment to carefully swim towards the entrance, staying as close to the cave walls as possible to make herself less visible. As she neared the exit, Sophia's heart raced. The shark, noticing the movement, started to turn back towards her. In that critical moment, Sophia recalled another piece of advice. Sharks, curious by nature, could sometimes be deterred by confrontation. Gathering her courage, Sophia turned to face the shark, making herself as big as possible and using her flashlight to disorient it briefly. The shark paused, seemingly confused by Sophia's bold action. It was a tense standoff, with the shark a mere few meters away, its eyes reflecting a mix of curiosity and caution. Maintaining eye contact, Sophia slowly backed away from the shark, moving towards the open water. Finally, the shark turned away, losing interest in Sophia and swimming into the cave's darkness. With her heart still pounding, Sophia seized the moment to make her escape, swimming quickly and efficiently towards the surface. Once she broke through the water's surface, Sophia gasped for air, the sun's rays warming her face. She had done it. She had faced one of the most feared predators in the ocean and lived to tell the tale. But more than that, Sophia had proven to herself that her resourcefulness, courage and respect for the marine world were her most significant assets. Back on her boat, Sophia reflected on her harrowing experience. It was a stark reminder of the inherent dangers of diving into the unknown depths of the ocean. Yet it also reaffirmed her love and respect for the sea and its inhabitants. She knew that this encounter would not deter her from future dives, but would instead serve as a valuable lesson in preparation, respect, and the importance of understanding the creatures of the deep. Sophia's adventure in the Blue Hole was more than just a close call with a tiger shark. It was a testament to human resilience and the profound connection between humans and the natural world. Her story, a thrilling tale of survival and wisdom, would inspire divers and ocean enthusiasts alike to approach the ocean with awe, respect, and an unyielding spirit of adventure. With a heart full of wanderlust and eyes eager for adventure, Ethan Taylor found himself in the stunning expanse of the Great Barrier Reef, 
Queensland, Australia, a place renowned for its breathtaking beauty and vibrant marine life. It was the perfect backdrop for an unforgettable snorkeling experience. Ethan was an adventurous tourist, always drawn to the ocean's mysteries. He was about to immerse himself in one of the world's most spectacular underwater landscapes. Armed with his snorkel and fins, Ethan waded into the warm, crystal-clear waters, his excitement building with every breath. High in the sky, the sun painted the ocean shades of blue and green, promising a day of discovery. Ethan had heard stories of the reef's inhabitants, colorful fish, majestic sea turtles, and even the occasional friendly shark. He was eager to witness this underwater paradise for himself. As Ethan ventured further from the shore, the reef came to life around him. Schools of fish darted through the water, their scales reflecting the sunlight in bursts of color. Corals of every shape and size formed an intricate maze beneath the surface, a testament to the reef's ancient and ongoing growth. Ethan was in awe, feeling humbled and exhilarated by the world unfolding. However, the reef held more than beauty. It also harbored challenges and surprises. As Ethan explored a particularly vibrant coral cluster, he noticed a large shadow moving in the periphery of his vision. Turning to look, he found himself face to face with a hammerhead shark, its distinctive silhouette unmistakable against the backdrop of the reef. Ethan's heart raced. He knew that hammerhead sharks were generally not a threat to humans, but the suddenness of the encounter sent a jolt of fear through him. The shark seemed curious, its eyes observing Ethan as it circled him. Ethan remembered the advice he had been given. Stay calm, avoid sudden movements, and maintain a respectful distance from marine wildlife. Trying to control his breathing, Ethan watched the shark move gracefully through the water. It was an awe-inspiring sight, one that few people ever got to experience. Yet Ethan knew he needed to find his way back to safety. The instinctual need for self-preservation overshadowed the beauty of the encounter. The challenge now was to navigate the treacherous waters back to the shore. The reef, while stunning, was a labyrinth of corals and underwater currents. Ethan had to make careful choices. One wrong turn could lead him further away from safety or into more challenging encounters with the reef's inhabitants. As Ethan began his cautious journey back, the hammerhead shark continued its patrol of the reef, a reminder of the wild and unpredictable nature of the ocean. Ethan's adventure in the Great Barrier Reef had taken a thrilling turn, transforming his snorkeling trip into a race against time. His battle for survival in these beautiful but treacherous waters had just begun. Ethan's experience was about testing his limits and challenging his courage, determination, and respect for the natural world. As he swam towards the familiar silhouette of the shore, each stroke was a mix of fear and fascination, a journey through one of nature's most magnificent creations. This was more than just an adventure. It was a profound encounter with the wild heart of the Great Barrier Reef. With the vastness of the Great Barrier Reef stretching out before him, Ethan Taylor knew that finding his way back would require more than physical strength. It would demand all his wits and knowledge of the ocean. Though no longer in immediate sight, the hammerhead shark had ignited a spark of urgency within him. Ethan's initial thrill of discovery transformed into a focused determination to navigate the complexities of the reef's underwater terrain safely. As he swam, Ethan kept a vigilant eye on his surroundings. The reef's beauty, with its kaleidoscope of corals and bustling marine life, was now a maze that he needed to traverse with caution. The clear waters allowed him to see the rich biodiversity that called the reef home and the potential dangers that lurked within. Ethan's respect for this underwater world deepened, understanding that he was a guest in a domain where nature reigned supreme. Once a bright companion, the sun began its descent towards the horizon, casting long shadows across the reef and coloring the ocean in hues of orange and pink. Time was of the essence, and Ethan felt the weight of every passing minute. He remembered the landmarks he had passed on his way out, the towering coral formations, the sandy clearings, and the schools of fish dancing around him. These were now his guideposts, leading him back to the safety of the shore. Ethan's muscles ached from the continuous effort but his spirit remained unbroken. He focused on the rhythm of his breathing through the snorkel, the steady movement of his fins propelling him forward. The ocean's currents, once gentle guides, now seemed to challenge his every move as if testing his resolve to reach the end of this unexpected journey. As the shore finally came into view, relief washed over Ethan. 
The beach had never seemed so inviting, with its golden sand and the promise of solid ground beneath his feet. Yet as he approached, Ethan felt profound gratitude for the experience. Though harrowing, the encounter with the hammerhead shark had offered him a glimpse into the raw beauty and power of the natural world. It was a reminder of the respect and humility with which one must approach these wild spaces. Climbing out of the water, Ethan took a moment to look back at the ocean. With all its wonders and dangers, the Great Barrier Reef had given him an adventure he would never forget. It was a testament to his resilience and a powerful lesson in the value of perseverance and respect for nature. Ethan's story of survival against the odds would remain a cherished memory, a tale of the human spirit and the enduring allure of the unknown. As he returned to the warmth and safety of civilization, Ethan knew that this experience had changed him. He had faced the treacherous waters of the Great Barrier Reef and emerged unscathed and enriched by the encounter. The adventure had begun as a simple snorkeling trip, a desire to explore the beauty of one of the world's most iconic coral reefs. It had turned into a race against time, a battle for survival in the face of the unpredictable forces of nature. Ethan's journey was a reminder of the delicate balance between the thrill of adventure and the ever-present need for caution and respect in the natural world. Ethan's adventure ended as the sun set on the Great Barrier Reef. Still, his encounter with the Hammerhead Shark and his battle for survival in Queensland, Australia's beautiful, treacherous waters would live on. A powerful narrative of adventure, respect, and the indomitable human spirit.